And that's how we're gonna start today's video. Go, go, go. Oh, oh God! Welcome back to another GM Golf video. Today we're gonna to be playing one club, but the special part about this club is it can be switched to 14 clubs. Wow! We have putter through basically, 60. I mean, we could do 60. Basically, we have a 74 degree here. Yeah, you can we're open this. At 90 you, degrees. <laughs> you can put negative loft on this club, guys. Right, look at that. Literally, that's negative loft. For putting, honestly, that's a, that's sometimes a good strategy because it keeps it gets the ball rolling really, really well. Anyway, we're gonna be playing three holes in today's challenge. We have Steven, Matt, and Colin also joining us today. We're gonna be doing every man for himself. We're gonna dive right in. So I've turned it to a one iron. Everybody get it for one iron off the first yeah. tee. This was fan mail, and shout out to the fan who gave us this club. If you are watching this video, please comment down below. I will pin your comment, I promise. We're starting here on hole seven out here at Sunflower Hills. Downwind, downhill, dogleg left. Steven's gonna start us off with the one I'm iron. I'm gonna say, if I hit the fairway, 3,000 3, likes in the first minute. Every man for himself. This is gonna be tough, guys. Oh, 3,000 likes! 3,000 likes, baby! Bro, if, you're, if you're in the video and you see this, you better like the video right now. All right, here's it. That is the second shot we've hit with this club. I still have not hit this club. Oh, Whoa. that's that's right of right, folks. I mean, that's all the way over there. You're not going to even see it down. That was blister, blisterated. Oh, they're going, going right, right today. As well. I was expecting a massive gun on the first tee. <laughs> okay, that's going to be in the trees, but should have a shot at it. If you've ever played Sunflower, you know that anything over there is usually okay. All right, calling here, dialing in. This club is weird, but I mean, hey, it works. Yeah. Oh, oh my. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be in the bunker, oh, but that, that was bunker. Oh, that might be funky. Now, obviously, Matt, just trying to dial in here. Oh, he hit it dead straight. Landed in the trees. Bro, that thing is like the weird. The cool thing about this is like, if we have to get out of the trees, and, and, and like say we have to go under a tree, we can just do minus loft. Yeah. That works. All right guys, this is where my ball ended up on the right side. I gotta go under this limb, so I'm gonna turn it to about a six iron. We gotta go all the way down the hill. Mike is gonna dial it in, put it out a six iron for me. I'm not really sure how this thing even works, because I haven't adjusted it before, but. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. I'm gonna have to close I think he's going. I think he's going with a five iron. Yeah, I had, Whoa! To, I had to close it down. Okay, it is gonna be findable. Like, That's way left. That was like an eight on. Mikey here all the way on the right side. His ball is so far over here. Matt, just right of the fairway. Uh, this is kind of what he's looking at, just left of this big tree. What do you got it at? It's tough to even know what club it is. It says it's nine, actually. All right, P wedge nine, whatever. He's gotta go through that gap, so this is, this is tough. Oh, what a shot. That was really, that was clean. This thing actually feels really good off the face. It's solid. Matt's at a five iron here now. All right, I gotta hit some Tiger Woods cut thing around these trees. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I mean, I'm, I'm not, I don't, I mean, I wanna try to go for the green, but I also wanna, oh my God. Oh, I mean, got yeah, so I lucky. It. <laughs> you can't shake it on that club. There's no hollow. Hit, hit Bro, I went the wrong direction. <laughs> he went the wrong way, but he got lucky, I tell you. Walking over to Collins ball here. He's in the left bunker. He's gonna have a pretty tough shot. These bunkers out here during the winter, not ideal. This is kind of what he's looking at. That's his ball right there. He's got about 160 yards down the hill, downwind. <laughs> Colin is really struggling today. Struggling out here. That's okay. Okay, now he's got it at like a three iron. I'm not really oh, sure what's going on. We got these three schmucks on their phone. Hello there. Other than Steven. Oh, oh that's, that's perfect. It's like 18,000 yards long. It's on the green. Just right of the green. That was pretty good distance. All right, Steven's in a rough spot here. Kind of have to hook it around these trees. It's hitting an eight iron. This is not an easy shot. After such a good tee shot, too. Oh, he topped it, but it's going to be good. That actually might. That has some toss on it. Look at no that. Way. It's got power. That thing had some, that thing had some wheels. I'm chipping for bird. Making our way through the trees here. I hate to say this, but it's kind of a familiar spot for Garrett. I'm just kidding. He kind of hit it a little left. It should be should have a pretty open spot down here. Watch this, folks. Okay, so he's about, he's about to add a ton of loft to this. He's probably going to make it like a 64 degree. Oh okay. My gosh. Okay, there we go. Oh my. <laughs> right, so look at this. Guys, so he's sitting it flat on the edge. That might go like 20 yards. I got to de loft it. Okay, so he's going to de loft it a little bit. So here's. Hang on. Oh my. I literally have to forward shaft wing this. He literally probably has 70 degrees of loft on this club right now. Oh! I think that's going to be a little long. 
Oh my, that was hey, so... just a little bit long, but it did get through a really nice little gap in there. What, how do you feel about hitting the 74 degrees? I don't know, that was, that had some spin too. Like, that would have landed on the green, that would have been pretty ideal, but yeah, a little longer green. Gonna have to get up and down for a five. Micah has set the club to a pitching wedge, folks. Colin's gonna be hitting a pitching wedge here long and right of the green. Pretty easy location uh, to get this one up and down. I'm also right there. Oh, that might go in the hole. No, that doesn't. I don't think that needs to hit. Oh, it does. Never mind. Oh, God! Did we just? I think we almost broke the club. All right, so Matt here with a pitching wedge, um, just off the green. This is pretty easy, honestly. It's pretty accessible. And that needs to sit down for sure. Okay, I'm just kidding. That's a really good shot from Matt. It's too easy. Way too easy this game. Give me one club, I'm dominating. Now Steven here with a pitching wedge as well. This is in yeah, his wheelhouse. Okay. That's pretty good from Steve. Wow, that's pretty good. He does have a I gotta that's chip this good. in, folks. They got putts for par. All right, so Garrett here has to chip this in. This is for his par. He's just off the green here. He's just about, he's about six or eight feet off the green coming down the hill. Probably gonna be chipping with a pitching wedge as well. We got more like a sand wedge now. So we um, got a lot of loft. Dude, that had some check now. I know. Just gonna run by. Now I have a par, a putt for birdie here. I'll set it at putter now. All right, guys, we're all on the green, so we're just gonna set it at putter. Actually, yeah. we're gonna do negative loft. Micah, now I think he's on for birdie. Actually, sirens in the background, and Tig leaves it way underneath the hole, and that is no gimme, folks. No gimme, folks. Listen, right? It's probably the greatest putt we've ever seen, and we've seen a lot of great putts. Uh, a lot of people, they don't, uh, they don't chain it. Right, Garrett's probably gonna put the greatest putt we've ever seen, probably. And we've seen a lot of putts. Uh, he leaves it short, dies. leaves it quite it's short, good. actually. Alright. Colin four par. Oh! My. Is that a par? <laughs> Matt from about three and a half feet here. I left it high. Son oh. of a biscuit! That's good. That's good. I'll give it to him. I'm at two over par. Matt's at one over par, Colin's at even. Right. Steven, four a par. This would be crazy. Oh, he's, Let, no. no! I'll give it to him, I'll give it to him. Micah four par here. Colin could be winning this challenge so far. And he makes it. Oh, he makes it. All right, so after our first hole, I'm in last place. I'm at two over par. Uh, Matt is at one over par. Colin is at even. Steven is also at one over par. And Micah is at even. Micah and Colin are kind of dominating this challenge so far. I'm getting destroyed. On to hole number eight, which is a par three up the hill. All right, strategy here on hole number eight. Uh, we're gonna set the club at about a seven iron, and we're all gonna use the same club. Pin's kind of in the front side up there. It's not an easy shot up the hill. Whoa! I think we have it set at about a seven iron. That one's a little left. That was, I mean, I hit it pretty good. It just didn't fade on me. All right, Colin here, trying to keep his lead. That one's also left, it was hit really well. That one's in the left trees. All right, Steven here going with what we think is about a six iron. It may be just a little bit less. Playing straight in the wind, playing easily 180, 185. Oh, it's gonna be way that short hurts. and way right, just so you know. All right, now Garrett here. I think that's long. Good shot. Matt here, stepping up to this with confidence. Let's go. That's really good, actually. Wow. That's so good. Wow. I don't think you made it green. See you guys in the hole. So here's the situation. Guys, I have the club set at about 70 degrees loft here for Steven. He's in the front of the fairway, into the wind, up the hill about on, 40 yards away. Bit. It's almost going to be a full swing for Steve over here. Holy uh, crap. <laughs> Holy crap. I mean, that would have been Holy so good. Crap, if that, it was hard. that was almost there, just a little bit short. Oh, it's going to be chipping with probably a pitching wedge. I think lofts. I'm going to be using that loft, to be honest. All right, Mike is also using the high loft. It's pretty convenient because if you are in a tough situation and you got to go over. Some just so you guys know, this is where Matt's ball ended up. Perfect position for Birdie. He could possibly get it to even par in this challenge. So here's where my ball ended up, guys. Just long of the green. Um, not a terrible position. Calling over here on the left side, and Micah left and long. And he swung pretty much full swing. All right, so we haven't adjusted it. Garrett's using the same 70 something degrees, I think anyway. He's gonna literally be taking a full swing right here. He's gonna be spinning. You don't have to hit it that hard. I know. In the past, 
is <laughs> incomplete. How you feeling about this shot, Colin? Uh, this loft, I'm honestly not feeling too confident, but I'm gonna try. Colin going with the 70 degree or whatever it is. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> he did not good. Colin here left to the green, chipping from the rough. Oh, that's, that's like pretty goals. good. Yeah, that's gonna give you a nice easy putt. Micah long and left of the green here. What's the deal? I don't know. Really un really unsatisfied with my second shot there, but I need if I can get this close or even chip this in, I'm gonna be really, really happy. And boys are, you know, just doing what they do down there, so I'm just gonna try to make a ball. Steven, up the hill. All right, he's got it set at a six iron, bumping around. <laughs> hey, that's not bad though, that's not bad. All right, so Garrett has this right here, just off of the green, kind of going with that six iron. This is really makeable. That's gonna be to the left, and oh! pretty good distance control. We're gonna give him that in for a bogey, and Garrett moves the three over par after two holes with one hole to play. Um, Matt here with a birdie putt. This is insane, honestly, this shot he just hit in here with a, Whatever we had, it was like a seven iron, maybe a six iron. Something like that. So very makeable for Matt to get to, that gets him back to what? Like even par. Even par, he's one over right now. Yeah. To get back to even. <laughs> <laughs> Good putt. The heck was that? That's all you, man. No, you can go ahead and go again. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> what do you have it set at? Are you blind? All right, so I'm gonna give that to Matt for bogey. Ooh, that's for double, Micah. This is for Steven, for bogey. To be a plus two, did he do it? Oh my clutch. Plus two after two. This is for Colin to make a bogey and to be in the lead going into the last hole, guys. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my. What a turn of events. This is for Colin to be at two over and I'm only one shot back of the lead. Oh, oh, three, three people tied for the lead Let's going go. into the last hole at two over. This is for Micah to stay at two over. And he can't do oh, it! Oh my! <laughs> Micah! Those three kids right Take there in the lead. Here. What? Matt, even with the three putt, is tied for the lead <laughs> going into the last hole, which is hole nine out here at Sunflower Hills. Par four, dog leg left. They're all at two over par. Micah and I are at three over par. Only one shot back. We're still in this. This is what hole nine looks like, dog leg left. Steven's gonna go ahead and go first. And just oh like that, Steven kept it low. It's Let's gonna go be it. down the right side. It's gonna be I in the rough, but dude, yeah, that's a good shot. All right, Colin here going with it. We have this set at a one iron. Straight into oh, the wind. Oh, that is perfect. No way. Oh my, what a stud. These guys are on. Now, Matt. Get it right in the middle of the fairway now. I don't really know what's going on, but Matt, Steven, and Colin, they're on today. Yes, sir. That could be in the trash. Well, that's in those trees. Yeah, that's not good there, folks. You gotta aim left. What if I had squat? Oh, that's what? so good. What a ball. So that was, that was hit pretty good, Well, All right, Garrett going with one iron. This I assume this is gonna be extremely low. Yes! <laughs> I didn't top that. Play right. I hit well. that well. I mean, I hit it on the low side of the face. I didn't top it though. So we found Garrett's ball, but we're not gonna hit it out of this because this is some sod that Sunflower is working on. So we don't wanna be taking a divot out of that. He's gonna be taking a free drop right here. Has probably 200 yards to the pin. It's gonna be adjusting it probably to about a five iron. You guys, I still got a chance here. And he chunks it, but it is gonna be good. It's gonna be right there. Pullin and Steven are smack dab in the middle of the fairway. Matt found his ball over here on the right side. Terrible eye, terrible shot. Still better position than I was. All right, Mike is like the professional dialer of this club. Talk about actually getting dialed in. All right, here we go. Matt here with the nine iron. And that one, that one was hit very solid. All right, so he's gonna use the same club from here. And uh, all right, well, now he's gonna get this one up and down for par from about the same yardage. That one's gonna be left, long, and maybe in the woods. He just took himself out of first place with that shot. I think he might be out of the match, but I that's okay. I mean, I can get up down for bogey. I wish it was summer and we could just go jump in a pond right Loser now. Loser has to jump in the lake. Nope. All right, Colin here, smack dab in the middle of the fairway. Trying to keep his lead here. It's basically it's between Colin and Steven. Basically brighter than my future right now. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty bright out there. 
Go. I just gotta go. Get up. It was hit well. Steven and Colin are better at golf than me right now. That's okay. See you on the right side of the fairway. Nine iron in hand, straight into the wind. Uh-oh! Bro, he's one stroke okay. behind. I can get up and down for par. I can get up and down for par. Steven needs to get up and down for par. Mike is in prime position to come back here. I have to make mine for par. I mean, he's got about 100 yards, so he's probably going to play that pitching wedge. This is for Mike to just win another challenge. <laughs> is it good? Yes, Parker! Bro, I have a chance! Steven! I have a chance! Walking up to the green here. I'm about 30 yards short. In a pretty good position to possibly make this. Probably not. <laughs> that spun so much! So, based off what Colin just told me, that ball like hopped twice and basically stopped. And this club really does spin a lot because it gets right under it. There's no bounce on the club. This is Colin's first bunker shot of the day. This is the first bunker shot we've seen with this club. And I honestly have no clue how this one's going to come out. Yeah, dude, this is, I, I'm in the lead. Steven, Steven can win this if he gets this up and down for par. Matt here down on the left side. This one is to get up and down for bogey. That one is on the green there. Micah to get up and down for par. Messed up. Ooh, and that's for par. Steven and I are the, basically the ones that are in this now. Yeah. What a turn of events, because I suck oh, this whole challenge. This. I tell you what, if he makes this, he wins. I mean, if he gets this up and down, he wins. If you make par, you win. So if you get this up and down, you win. That one spun a little bit. And that's for par. That's to win the club. Steven, if Colin makes this bunker shot, I, I mean, that would be the most legendary moment. He needs to make the bunker shot. That's what he needs to do. Go, Jay. Oh, that was right. That's actually right there. That is pretty good. All right, so Matt's got a deal off. I gotta make this, guys, if I want a chance. It's a tough putt, but uh, with the with the right tools and the right ingredients, a pasta fajoule is actually pretty easy to make. What the? What did it just hit? What did it just hit, though? You pushed it. it was no, bad. it hit a bump. Micah for par. He has to make it. And that... A two putt for the win. That's four over. No, 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 no. I'm for par. This is for three over. So you have to make it to win. If Steven way? makes this, he wins. This is four, are you, are two you, over par. It breaks down this Matt, way, doesn't it? we're just going to get Matt's ball out of here. Actually, we'll let him play. Colin is putting for bogey. If he makes that, he shoots three over. I'm putting for par. If I make that, I shoot three over. So if Steven makes this, he wins. Go, go, go. Oh, oh God, what the heck? I can still miss, technically speaking. All right, so Matt here, this is just for pride. <laughs> All right, so Matt's in for like a double or something. Steven's now in. If Garrett misses that, Steven wins him a brand new set of clubs. This is for Colin to shoot three over and to tie Steven and me if I make mine. Oh, that was the line. All right, Steven. Oh, baby. Bro, I'm feeling this. Oh, baby. I'm feeling this. So, Steven still has a chance to win the brand new set of clubs. Garrett just has to miss this two footer. And yeah, this is a tough putt. Bro, this thing moved. Oh, oh my baby. God. Oh, my God. Hey, all right, all right. playoff hole. We right. will be having a playoff hole. We'll be going back to the ninth tee <laughs> box. We're going to 10. We're going to hole 10 yeah. to get this playoff. Let's, Let's get go. right into the action. I, I want this so bad, guys. I'm still giving Steven the club if I win, but I just want to win. Good luck playoff hole it all comes down to this folks this leads to a match this has to no matter what this after this guys comment down below if you want a team twigs match part one and two on my yeah. channel and his channel because that's coming holes. too that's coming it's coming real quick steven you are swinging very good so keep doing what you're doing okay. i think you're gonna have a really good chance all right garrett hitting three iron getting some little oh, mat energy oh, over there oh no oh no <laughs> yeah. and that's gonna be going right that's so far left. Yikes. Now, now, Steven, this is Bro, this is a lot of chance. pressure on the shot, good but you got this. Right. You got this. No, 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 don't think like that. Right down the middle. Oh, and he oh, just oh, stripes it oh, right oh, down the middle of the fairway. Steven, you couldn't be more clutch at a more prime Bro, time. I tell you, when clutch comes in, I'm here. 
Yeah, bro, I hope you're enjoying this video. You better slap a like for this. For Steven getting in the final round. All right, so Garrett's ball, we found it. It's right by the road. It's technically still inbound, so he still will be able to play this. This gap right I mean, here. He lay up on this channel. Just like he said, he doesn't lay up. So he's going to be going through this little gap here. This right here is a very high pressure sign. And that, it? Has, right and that has hit a tree. I hit a tree. Uh, Steven. I feel like I'm in the Masters right now. Yeah, we're just hey, going gonna... to follow up live with this camera right here. Yeah. All right, so we made it back to Garrett's ball. He does actually have a real opening this time to get this close. I just shot. need to make bogey. Like, I feel like I have a chance if I make bogey. Okay. <laughs> he pops it again. But that's going to be up in the fairway. Still has a chance to make bogey, but he's making it hard on himself. Yeah, I got to get that up and down from like 70 yards. All right, so walking up to Steven's ball. Garrett's making his way through. Steven, how, what are you feeling like as this shot right here? You, you don't really have that much pressure on this shot. Not at all. You have a chance to win the clubs. You have about 180, 180 yards left. What are you going to hit? I'm thinking five. So he's got uh, straight up the hill into the wind. Probably playing at least 180, 185. <laughs> Oh my, that's good. It's going to be just a little bit right. I'm not in the but bunker. Man, I have a chip. I think the distance control is really good. Good shot. All right, so we made it to Garrett's ball. We got a front pin location here at hole number 10 out of Sunflower, and he's Garrett's hitting a 56. He probably has about 60 or 70 yards left here. Weird. Actually, 64. There's a lot of pressure on this shot. He still wants to have a chance to win this. And that's going to be spinning. That's long of a green. Long I think he's a little long. The chances are looking better and better for Steven. Ah, I need him to chunk one. If you try and keep it a little lower and just play more like a putt, you can run it out and see the see the break if you get past the hole, too. Steven wants his gloves. Steven, oh, no. you got the yips! Oh, I, I, I got the yips! Right, I think we're gonna we're gonna up the club with the P wedge. Yeah, Garrett, we're... Garrett, I see you smiling. Get them cheeks out of hey, here. Hey, hey. You, wait, you could get double, I still could get bogey. I don't want another playoff hole either. Okay, we both got we, tough bogey for you. I don't need no caddy. This one's going in. If you guys haven't liked this video already for this intensity, see if we can get this one to five, ten thousand likes, hundred thousand maybe. Garrett, four par. Four. Oh, that's terrible. What? Oh, that's no gimme. That's, that's no gimme. Right, hey, hey guys, he left him. himself with a lot of work left. And obviously you can see he's really just urge about that. Steven here, if anything, he has a chance right here, right really now to win this set of clubs. This is this, the intensity of this is is up. For Steven, this is probably one of the most critical putts he's ever hit in his entire like career. Keep me down, keep me down, keep me down, keep me down. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Right. That's he good. has to make it. Okay, that's so I, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be, are you conceding that putt? Yeah, that's good. That's this right here is the for the tie. tie. This is for the tie. <laughs> so Garrett, looking over this putt, there's not much there's not much to this it's pretty straight oh my Let's gosh go. and he does I'll it do another he does it. bro this is like a 40 minute video of just pure entertainment so obviously you guys know we're here on hole 11 this is a long par 5 and obviously this is the second playoff hole so we've got a lot of stuff coming hot and heavy and, uh, and Garrett's gonna start us off here he's probably got the one iron in hand and two he iron. needs to just or two iron he needs to hit a really good shot here it is into the wind so it's gonna make this hole a little tricky oh and that's a straight yo I can't hit this. You're not going to see that on camera, but that went right over those trees but right over there. Listen, as we know, on hole 12 out at Sunflower, over there, hole 11. You, right. you hole 11 at Sunflower, you always have a chance to make birdie. Always. Oh! oh! You could actually beat me in a full-blown match right now. Like, he's better than me by a mile. I mean, that's <laughs> bro, that's going down the hill. <laughs> down the hill. So here's the problem we got here. He's got a tree. He could not get a full follow through in. He's got to play hole 12 here. He does have a gap though, as you guys can see. There is the two trees he's got. That's what? It. Oh, man, That's yeah. it. Where'd that go? That's That's true. True. On hole 11? Yeah. yeah oh wow, he way. took it through that gap. Okay, I thought he was going through that gap right there, but yeah. I played a little more lopped, decided to try and go up and over the trees. So Steven now, I mean, honestly, taking some practice swings, really starting to try to dial in here. This guy is good. Baby. This guy's good. Steven, when did you become like a four handicap guy? He needs these clubs. If I were had to guess, I would say Garrett has about 130, probably hitting a, a either a pitching wedge or a nine iron. There's a lot. I mean, this is this has been intense. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. And that really ball is spinning. Ball. Something about that though. That divot is so good and it's so square. Like that, I don't get it. Oh hello! 
Holy moly donut shop. Guys, Steven has come to play today. Literally has hit two, has hit two perfect golf shots here at hole 11. He, this is a par five. He has a chance to get this up and down and make birdie. My golf game, I feel like my golf game is getting worse by the day. Oh, you just kind of caught it. Barely trickles onto the green. What do you has a birdie putt. We got to go try to find Garrett's ball. So it could be already over. All right, so Garrett has found his ball. It's like 10 feet into the woods here, but he has enough loft to go over these trees. And really, he just, he has to get lucky. He's out. Sit, sit out, sit out, and sit. And it's going to stop right here. That is a great out. He has a chance to chip this in for par. Steven, how you feeling? How confident are you over that putt? I mean, it's over. It's over. Basically, I talked to my caddies. Minimum par. Oh, and that did release pretty, past pretty the hole. But this, a this is a game, makeable putt. If Steven two putts this, he went. He honestly deserves to win. I mean, have you guys seen how well he's hitting it? I haven't even hit a fairway. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Steven and the thing didn't move. left himself with easily 10 foot down the hill, breaking from right to left. This is insane. I cannot goes. believe Steven, it. This is to win. This I, right I here know, is to I win. Know. Make this putt, close it out, get your set of clubs. Sit. Steven, you gotta leave it in a position where you can make and it. He's still More right. out. He still left himself with three, three to three and a half feet. Garrett putting with about four or five degrees of loft here Ooh. on this. Basically, what a normal putter is. If he makes this, he'll be so clutch. Let's go! This is for Steven to win. I mean, I want him to make this at this point. I don't want to go to another playoff hole. This would be crazy. Guys, he deserves to win. I just made a double bogey. Two double bogeys on the first two playoff holes. You gotta be kidding me! No way. There is no way this is happening. Alright, Matt's done. He's going home. Steven and I are gonna say, on to the third playoff hole. I guess I keep getting lucky. This challenge has turned from a three hole challenge to we are now on to the sixth hole. I know this video is probably gonna be pretty long, but I mean, hey, we're gonna keep it going. It's Steven and I, Team Twig. If I can hit one in the fairway, I can win. And if I win, Steven's gonna be pissed. And Garrett. Hits a bomb there, right up the left side. Probably gonna be just in the rough, just over that that little pine tree there. All right, Steven, with he's this is right here. This is the sets up perfect for his little fade. This man yes, is and that's literally perfect. It started at the pine tree and is working right back to the center of the fairway. We might, Steven, you're doing well. We might have to bring this match back tomorrow. We're gonna play it till dark. All right, Steven and I are both in the fairway. I'm the left side. Steven actually outdrove me by a solid 10 yards. We got that looking into the green. It's a play here. Oh my. And he has really struck this well. Just short of the green there. I think it was better. All right, guys, I don't know what happened. I've, I'm just really focusing on tempo and swinging confidently. So I'm just short of the green. I had a pretty solid shot there. Oh my, it stayed out left. Whoa, he pulled that. <laughs> Steven ended up just left this bunker here. Not a terrible position. Do you need a club? Oh, oh what a shot. Wow. What a like shot. That. You got that for par. Making our way to Garrett's ball. He's just short of the green. Really, really nice shot from the fairway there. Bump and run here. Has about 35, 40 feet straight up the hill to the pin. It's going to brisk a little right. And it's brisking. I hit that. Too. I thought I hit it too hard. He's still got a little work, little Whoa. work left there. Steven has about 10 feet, 12 feet up the hill for his par. Going to be breaking to his left. His right, Micah. It's breaking to his right, not his left. God, you hit that! I think that was Bro. it! And he's just gonna tap in for his Focus. bogey. Bro. At the next playoff was a par three. Left or no. short? Look at that! I freaking Left knew it! And short. How long Dude, is this video this gonna be? This is our be? seventh hole, isn't it? Our this eighth. is our seventh hole. Okay. This video is probably already like 35 minutes, but if you guys are still watching, you are legends because this is this is Steven and I's match yeah, basically see this could just be to hype up our match our next match is going to be a real match between Steven and I 9 and 9 full 18 but on to our seventh hole of the day whoever's editing this I'm sorry you have so much footage to work with all right 167 yards straight downhill over the creek hole 13 here at Sunflower I'm probably gonna hit like a six or seven it's straight into the wind 
and that's going oh, left, no. folks. It's gonna be over, but it's gonna be over in that legendary spot. Dude, that's so long. Steven, you can win right now. Steven Donovan, if he hits the middle of the green with this, yeah, he's gonna be good? he's gonna be I don't care either. I'm in a great good. position. That's perfect. That's what we like. That needs to go. Go, 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 go! I got a chip! I'm long, Steven's short. This could be another playoff hole. So we made it to Garrett's ball behind the green. He was a little bit long. Yeah, I got about a 63 degree. I'm just gonna play it back in the stand. Oh my gosh. I honestly couldn't hit a better shot. Okay, that looks like it's about six inches, but it's actually probably about 10 feet underneath the hole. All right, Steven's got probably like a 50 degree in his hand, and he's got this to get up and down. He's probably gonna need to get it up and down because I have confidence I'm actually gonna make this putt here. Let's go. go. That's gonna be short. I need to make mine now. Go. Oh my gosh. Hey, he doesn't have a gimme, but neither really do you. Garrett up here yeah, with a little slider. A this one is actually going to this the left for moving. him. Yep, left it right in the middle of the cup. That's it. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. Steven, right. you had every chance. Guys. I know, I should have won on the second playoff hole. You really should. That's better for the video. Even though I did win, guess what? I'm still giving this club to Steven. Oh because he needs his 14 clubs. Yeah. He lasted throughout that round. He's playing way better than me, just so you guys know. So right now, I think we're gonna need to do a match in the next week. Uh, we'll be doing like part one on my channel, part two on his, nine and nine. It's gonna be a blast. I honestly don't think I'm gonna win. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, be sure to stay tuned for the next one. Until next game, guys. If you wanna see part two of this, let us know down in the comments down below. Dude, it feels cool. like yesterday that we got knocked out of this challenge. It's because yeah, it basically yeah, so was. Bro, it feels like we've been playing. Dude, we played more playoff holes than we played actual holes with the guy. <laughs> <laughs> that was a crazy video. Guys, if you're still watching, yeah, leave a like or something. Yeah, Subscribe to these guys as well. Colin, Matt, and Steven, their links will be down in the description down below. Of course, bye. Yeah.